Okay, it's 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 New Year's Eve, and I'm uh, trying to do a New Year's Eve vlog. And um, well, 2017. What the fuck was that? I mean, yeah, sure, we we lived through it. Most of us. And um, and and if you're watching this, you probably didn't die in it. So that's that's good news. But but what the fuck did we live through, really? I mean, that was a year, was it? Well, yeah, yeah, stuff happened. Stuff happened this year. And, um, well, quite frankly, I'm, I'm ashamed and disgusted by how this year's turned out. Except we all knew that it would turn out like this. I mean, It's been dominated by one person. Even though he hasn't done anything worth actually talking about, he has just kept on putting his fucking face in it. All the time. No matter what was happening, he usually shat all over it. You know who we're talking about. Donald fucking Trump. And... And it's not it. It's not as if he's earned anything. This is the, he hasn't actually earned anything. He's inherited. Uh, he's inherited a bunch of New York real estate, and has this business plan of hemorrhaging money in order to look like he's really, really wealthy, and then using that illusion of wealth to get other people to invest with him and then he takes the illusion of, of massive wealth that this hemorrhaging of money uh, brings and then he used this illusion of wealth to attract um, to attract people of unsavoury character who have a lot of money so he hey, can, can launder their... Can I have a hug? Yes you can! Hey. There was only one pair of feet being used Happy there. New Year! Yay! <laughs> and it's gone. So, uh, bringing myself back on track to what I was going to say is that um, he uses this illusion of, of great wealth to attract um, people of unsavory character who have a lot of money, so they can um, launder that money through his properties, and he gets to keep some of it, and that's how he makes a lot of his money these days, because his, uh, his businesses, his actual businesses, the airline and the, the football team where he, he bankrupted the entire league, and all of that sort of thing, didn't work out all that well, because he sucks at business. Anyway. The only thing he has been able to really do well at is gaining attention for himself. And that's... That's okay if you're a reality show host. That's really okay. It's what it's expected. I mean, that's... That's what King Kardashian is all about. Don't make me mention that name. Okay. That's what... That's what reality TV shows do. Right. It's not what the President of the United States is supposed to do. And this has gone through the entire year. And I'm talking to you people who are not, who weren't quite there to remember this year. I don't know what's going to happen next year. It might be pretty much the same. But this year, no matter what happened in the news, this man has been able to either upstage it or bury it in his crap. I mean, the man at one point was giving out medals to these war heroes. They were um, 
Navajo code talkers. They spoke the Navajo, Navajo language as code um, in World War II, so the Japanese couldn't break that code. And it was really, really effective, and, and these people were incredibly old and war heroes, and then he takes all the attention back to himself while giving him giving these people the you know big shiny medals by using an ethnic slur no by using the name of a a um a 19th century 18th century hero called Pocahontas as an ethnic slur at them in front of a giant. Yeah. Oh my god, are you vlogging right now? I'm vlogging. Can I be in your vlog? Hey, vloggers! That, Tiles D! Tiles D, add me on Insta. I don't know who that is. Apparently it's Charles D. I don't know either. Uh, anyway. And he uses it as an ethnic slur. She was she was like a big hero back then, she, you know, in the uh, around the 1800s. You know, she she saved the asses of uh, um, um, Lewis and Clark, like a lot, a lot, a lot, and translated everything for them. Um, anyway. <laughs> In front of, you does this ethnic as an ethnic slur in front of um, General uh, Jackson, who as president had kind of you know um, done a bit of genocide against their people, and didn't even address that name of a hero as an ethnic slur at them. He was talking about Elizabeth Warren, who is an incredibly accomplished individual, worked out as from nothing to being a, a, a very prominent senator. And this went on and on and on. I mean, if you remember the, if you remember the Black Lives Matter protests, um, he, he made all of those footballers who were going down on one knee, he turned it into a protest against himself, even though it wasn't a protest against himself, it was a protest against um, black people being shot. And it was, in effect, it was like saying, if you don't like black people being shot, then you're probably against me because he took it as a protest against himself and this was the sort of thing that happened the whole year the entire year oh. no if if you are in another year right now and you probably are 2018 2019 whatever it is don't come back to this year it's just not worth it. Following the news is just not worth it. Just stay in your own year unless 2018 is even worse. I don't know how it can get worse. We're being kind of immunized against what that fuckwit is doing now. Probably. Unless, of course, you know, Pyongyang sort of gets exploded somehow. <sighs> Which is what could happen! It could actually happen! I was going to do this. I was planning this for months. All of the, all of the things that happened in 2017. I was going to compile a wonderful, uh, a wonderful um, look back on all that happened. And no, it all had to be about him, didn't it? I'm fucking tired of this. I'm just going to go over and watch the fireworks and be done with 2017. Just fucking done with it.
Oh, we're still recording. Of course, there's one thing, one thing that dominated 2017 that not even Donald Trump could dominate. One piece of late June, early July, which was very special and then completely disappeared into wherever it came from. I don't know why Donald Trump never, never, never made it all about himself. Maybe his hands were just too tiny to cope with its uh, many intricacies. I give you the fidget spinner. <laughs> Happy New Year. Maybe one day I'll be able to appreciate this thing for the joy it brings.